Confirming kill. Yo, what's up boys? Welcome back. It is Riley and Cold War is finally here. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips at the beginning of the video. That's all the highlights I've gotten while grinding gold for the Pellington sniper rifle. It took me about six hours and a little bit over a thousand kills to achieve gold on the sniper rifle. So yeah, it was a bit of a grind, but it was fun for most of the time other than when skill based matchmaking was going crazy and some other things that I'm going to get into in a second. Overall, I really like Cold War as a game. I think it's super fun, super enjoyable, but there are a few things that I think do need to be changed to make it a 100% enjoyable experience. And first of all, I think that the snipers are super underpowered in this game, like more underpowered than they ever have been in Call of Duty history. Like the ADS speed, even with the max attachments on the Pellington is super slow. Like it's really hard to play aggressive, you super hard to hit clips, but obviously we're gonna push through it and hopefully there's some sort of change to the sniper rifles, perhaps a buff or even just something. So yeah, I'm just gonna roll out the rest of the highlights, guys. Make sure you leave a like. And if you're new and YouTube recommended this video, Feel free to drop a sub. We're on the road to 1K. We're grinding hard throughout Cold War. It's going to be a great time. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video for the class setup. Yeah, that's it for me. Peace. Be secure. Losing Alpha. Okay. Not bad, not bad. I wish they pushed out quicker so I could have hit more, but... Alright. Holy shit. Fragging out right now. Let's keep it going. Oh, no way. He's pissed. I just hit a quad feed. Oh my god, finally bro, let's go. I'm pretty sure that was a quad feed. I hit Margaret a collat. 
for the last two, which is pretty annoying. What the fuck? I am popping off this game. Let's go. Confirming kill. Oh my god, those shots. Oh my god, bro. Insane. Be secure. All right, all right. We're doing a little something here in the spawn. Let me reload quick. Got him, got him, got him, keep coming. Get him, 10 kill streak. Yeah, I think I just flipped the spawn completely. No, I got a hit marker off the quad feed, man. That was crazy. I was stunned and everything. Come on, man. Enemy spy plane inbound. Did I set a quad feed? Losing A. I don't think so. Those kills were quick. Might have been like a framer. All right, boys. We just unlocked gold on the Pellington. We finally got it. First sniper rifle gold out of the three. And I'm super stoked. Let's hop in the game and see what this looks like. All righty, boys. Here it is. The gold Pellington sniper rifle. I like it. It's nice and shiny. The only downside is I wish it covered more of the gun. Um, it's kind of boring how it only covers the bottom part, but... Diamond covers the whole gun, which I'm excited to grind out, and yeah, this is the gold Pellington sniper rifle right here. I give it like a solid 5 out of 10. So yeah, I'm going to play a few more games with the Pellington, try to hit some clips with the gold camo, and then I'm going to be moving on to the Tundra and getting that gold. Okay, let's hop into the Pellington now. So for the barrel, I rocked the 25-inch reinforced heavy barrel. A lot of people rock the Tiger Team barrel, but I don't like losing that one bullet. I like to have 7 bullets, so I run the 25-inch reinforced heavy my underbarrel i rock the bipod just because i find that that one works the best gives you a little bit of recoil control which is always nice for my mag i like to run the standard seven round mag just because with all these other ones you lose aim down sight speed which is really bad um you can rock fast loader if you just want to rock five bullets and run around and reload quick you can rock that but personally i like the seven round mag it comes in clutch to have a few extra bullets and uh, get those kills for my handle, I rock the Airborne Elastic Wrap. This is one of the last attachments you get, but it's one of the best. Um, this one gives you aim down sight speed, flinch resistance, and it's just a really good attachment to have. So it's definitely worth the grind and super useful. 
And finally for my stock, I rock the marathon stock just for the sprint to fire time when you're running around and you want to get your gun up quick to get a quick quick scope or a no scope or whatever. It's really good to have this and it really comes in handy. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap up my video on the Pellington 703. This is by far the best setup for aggressive quick sniping, running around quick scoping, no scoping, getting a bunch of kills quick. This is the setup you guys want to go with. So let me know in the comments if you guys use this setup or you rock something a little bit different. I'm curious. Let me know what you guys are rocking. That's going to do it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, be on the lookout for my next video it's going to be an lw3 tundra setup video i'm going to be grinding that out gold and i'm going to bring you guys a sick video on that so let me know if you enjoyed this video that's about it i'll see you guys in the next one